Hey y'all, I'm out here at the Simper Fresh Garden tonight, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's about to rain. I'm so excited. Um, even though I watered the garden really well this morning, that's okay. Um, we're not going to get much of, of a rainstorm, I don't think. It's supposed to be a thunderstorm at 8 o'clock, but when I look at the radar, it just kind of dissipates right before it gets here. But it's sprinkling a little bit. Chris got the uh, raised beds filled with compost, uh, the one raised bed filled with compost today, it looks like anyway. So I'm going to walk over there and um, kind of level that out if he didn't do that. And because in case it does rain, I want to make sure that it's, that it's completely leveled out. But I'm also going to go in here and... Um, give these melons and the pumpkins that are hanging some support. I have some little netting that I'm gonna put on there and I'm gonna see if there's anything else to harvest. So let's get in the garden, y'all. Another new development um, today was that Chris found one of the bantams had laid its first egg. And I say bantam because um, it was a little tiny egg. It did not feel rubbery like a chicken's normal first egg. But, um, so that's really exciting. Ava was hugging on it, um, and she was just saying how cute the little egg was, so it was really cute. But that's exciting. These younger hens that we have are, um, going to be laying, so that's really exciting. I'm thinking it's probably Bok Bok that laid the egg because it's white, because our other bantam hen that we have, you can see her up there next to that other Easter egger, is an Easter egger. So her egg should be, um, her egg should be blue. Um, or the, when they first start, they could be a variation, like a light blue. Um, then they'll start getting darker, but they should be blue. Um, this egg was completely white and Ava's chicken is a silver phoenix and they lay white eggs, so... Anyway, I think that's the only chicken we have that'll be laying white eggs. All the other ones lay, will be laying brown or blue. Um, but anyway, so that was just an exciting development that happened today. Okay, so it looks like he definitely got... Damn it, bee! Oh! These yellow jackets, I'm telling you. It looks like he did get the compost in. So I'm going to try to level it out just a little bit before this rain comes so that it's not hunked up. Um, and, and washed out. Also, um, got some germination going on over here, so that's exciting. Goodness, those gray zucchini really popped up fast. Not a lot of germination, though. I was expecting a little more. None of this okra. Kind of weird, isn't it? Like, none of the okra has germinated. It's been nine days now hmm. okay so I was able to get this bed spread out pretty good he still has some that he needs to put over here but this side will not have a trellis this side will have um, more of our brassicas and some of the crops that we won't need to be trellised um, even when we're planting our spring crops we will probably still do brassicas. We'll also do carrots. Um, and by brassicas, I'm meaning um, like our cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, that kind of stuff will go in this bed. Along with onions. And uh, we're probably going to start a garlic bed out here. I'm probably going to use this bed here to be our garlic bed. And we may do some garlic in here. Probably not a lot because I don't want it to continue to grow in this area. But I'll also be putting some uh, herbs that won't make it through the frost in here as well. And again, we're just going to try growing this stuff in the high tunnel. We're not 100% sure what's going to be successful. Obviously, I should have waited on these tomatoes. But again, I, I have um, reserves or I could just plant something else there. Because we have tons of tomatoes over here. So I'm going to get in the garden over here. Especially if we're going to get some rain. I definitely need to get these harvested so that they don't crack from the, from the water. I don't think we're going to be getting a lot of heavy rain. But I'm not 100% sure. So let me get out here uh, and see what I have over here that needs to be harvested tonight. 
and I already see just clusters of tomatoes there in the baby boomer. It was the only ones turning over here that are ripening. I also need to look for some hornworm damage and I'm pretty positive I'm gonna have some okra to harvest. And I'm gonna go ahead and harvest these lemon cucumbers because I'm worried about leaving them too much longer on the vine. Oh, look at this guy. No, sir. So I definitely had to share this one. How dumb am I, y'all? Yep. Should have known better. There's no way that thing was gonna fit through. So I just realized I have three tomato plants right here that I have not staked up. Cause I was trying to shake them to pollinate the flowers and I start shaking the trellis and they're not moving. So I need to stake those up. Check out this cluster on my Kajari melons. Big cluster of flowers. if you can hear those chickens but it sounds like they're singing can y'all hear them let me try to get closer away from this dang yellow jacket Hmm. And then here. I know the minute I stop recording they'll start doing it louder. Look how orange that pumpkin is getting. It's not gonna be a big one, but still a good one. And I'm hoping that these two uh, gray zucchini are gonna be ready to take with me. Not sure if they will be. No okra to harvest here. I didn't even check these. Almost ready for some more to harvest here. This one, oh, this one's ready. And I watch a lot of YouTube uh, channels. I, I'm, I'm always watching to see if I can learn some new gardening techniques, and I do, I learn a lot. But I notice a lot of people leave their peppers on for a really long time. Like I'm gonna cut this one, but I see a lot of people leaving them to be big, and I've never grown peppers that big. Um, I've always clipped them at this size because they seem to start wilting and dying back if I don't. Plus that's about the size I use them anyway. And I've got that set still dehydrating in the dehydrator. It's been almost 36 hours now on my little dehydrator. I'm, if I'm gonna be dehydrating more, I may need a better model dehydrator that's faster. Um, because that's a really long time to be running a piece of equipment in the house especially one that's hot like that. And I'm not sure how long after they turn red before these will be turning blue, but they're supposed to be dances with Smurfs. So they do turn blue, but they have red, red first. I wonder what they taste like red. I don't know. Uh-oh, my basil's bolting. I need to cut some of this tonight too. So I thought that was a worm for a second. I'm going to go ahead and clip him. This one is definitely funky looking. I'll use them in something. And I think I said this the other day in a video, but this is definitely not a um, pineapple cherry tomato. <laughs> it might be a pineapple tomato. And I do have some of the fruit on one of these plants. When I walked through here, it looked like it was blushing. Yeah, this one right here. This is red cherry, I think. Lord, I'm having the worst luck with things not being labeled properly, but these were labeled by me, so. 
They should be ripe if the seeds were ripe. One of these are blushing. These are beefsteaks, maybe. Goodness gracious, all these bugs buzzing in my ear. Who looky here? Seriously, I thought these cherry tomatoes would beat y'all, but that's okay. We don't mind. We'll take you guys. Look at all these. Oh my goodness. Look what else I found down here on these cherry tomatoes. Now these are kind of big for a cherry. And the stem broke on this cluster. Well, it kind of still looks intact. I don't know. What do y'all think I should do? I might take those that aren't all the way and let them finish in the house. Maybe that'll give the others a chance or should I just leave it? I don't know. So I went ahead and clipped the almost ripe ones figured might as well. love growing stuff especially when it turns into food uh oh this pepper needs to come out it's got a bad spot on the top see it go ahead and get him out so this is what I have for my harvest tonight not too shabby I also have a couple things in the green stock I need to pick a couple peppers I think and then I think there's I need to get those candy cane peppers out of one of the containers. Oh, let me get a, uh, let me try to get these uh, watermelon uh, supported and the two pumpkins that I have that are growing off the side hanging. And then I'm gonna head home, I think. Check this guy out. I need to capture him to take to the kids. They would get a kick out of him. Digging around in our compost here. Okay, y'all, I don't know if this will work. I may end up doing more damage than I want to do help. I don't know. But I tied it up on one side and I left the other side open so it has plenty of room to wiggle around in there and grow. And I just tied it to one side right here. So we'll see. I've never really hammocked um, anything like this before. I also need to get this limb up. I think it's long enough now. Yep. There we go. There. Get a jacket. Go on. And I have this little pumpkin right here too. I think I might do it for him as well. And then I don't know about this gourd. What do y'all think? Should I, should I trellis the gourd too? Gourd should be fine. I mean trellis. Should I put a hammock on the gourd? I'm gonna wait on the watermelons because they're still kind of small. Um, I've got two hanging over there and then I've got to put a little teepee under the others to keep that moisture off of them. But what do y'all think? on these gourds. They should be able to hold themselves up, right? Okay, we'll see if this works. I don't know. We'll see. Better than not having anything, I guess. And then I'll decide if I want to go ahead and get the, uh, well, if I want to get the um, gourds hammocked. Also have some beans here to harvest. This one is starting to get a little limp. Should have harvested a couple of days ago. It's my fault. I always do that. Gotta do better. And the cucumber beetle on there. Look at that. He was just eating into that. Dang things. Anyway, my these beans just didn't do very well this year. I mean I got some good beans off of here, but not a lot. Um, I mean, I'm still waiting on my um, Christmas pole beans over there. Um, but they just didn't do all that well. I don't know. 
maybe it's just the soul the having that clay soul just isn't all that great I don't know um, so now that I have my netting that I'm gonna be putting um, the watermelons into I'll have it on hand out here whenever I'm ready to put them up when I think it's time so anyway I hear thunder in the in the background and these chickens are about to bed down and that beetles pretty mad I did catch him I'm gonna take him home to the kids and let them um, kind of see him and I'll bring him back tomorrow but I think they'll think he's pretty cool anyway y'all have a great evening I'll see y'all next time. Good night, y'all.